Hi guys, Red Ninja here, and here I'm back with my demolisher again. And this time I'm actually going to do something to this, and we're going to try and make something special out of this. So hopefully it'll be fun. So I'm back again with my demolisher, and this time I wanted to overhaul my demolisher fully. Uh, so originally I designed it to run on IMRs in the stock battery tray, however I just recently got a LiPo and two Rhino motors that I wanted to test, so this is why I'm creating the mod. Uh, throughout the video I'll be making commentary and take you through how I overhauled this gun. So because I'm running this off a LiPo it will need a lot of space for it to fit. Um, one thing I really hate about the demolisher is that the shells are glued together as well. So if you're going to try and mod the demolisher yourself, be very careful that you don't rip the shell apart. So I basically gutted the whole battery case and removed the terminals. Once done, I also removed the tabs in the gun to make space for the LiPo. And I also made a hole for the XT60 plug. Another thing I hate about the demolisher is that the battery case is so small, so that means I cannot fit larger packs inside. So instead, I bought an 800 milliamp hour 3S LiPo with a 40 to 50C discharge, which is mainly more than enough power to run the two Rhino motors. And once again, because this is a LiPo, you really need to grind the tabs fully. If there's any bumps or sharp edges, you could poke the LiPo and explode it and that's not good. So to alleviate that issue, I added some sticky tape inside so it makes a cushion between the plastic and the LiPo. Because I'm using different motors, I had to disassemble the right side of the shell. I also wanted to paint the shell as well, so that's why I disassembled it. I did add a Dean's connector, so in case the motor is burnt out, I can always unplug that motor case instead of just gutting the whole blaster and just rewiring it, because that will just be pointless. So now I remove the old motors. This actually took a while because I had to find a way to remove the back straps without destroying them. They were in pretty bad condition because of my past poor soldering technique, uh, because of that they were damaged by the soldering iron which was terrible. I also want to give credit to Make Test Battle for releasing their demolisher video, and this is actually why I'm overhauling the demolisher right now, so yeah. Um, when I removed the motors, they had a little bit of green on them. I didn't know if that meant something, but it looked like a bad sign to me that the motors were starting to wear out. So now we install the rhinos. Because there are tabs in the motor case, I used the Dremel to take out the tabs inside the motor case. Uh, another note, if you do this mod, uh, don't force the motors inside the cage or the bearing will pop and you'll wreck the motor. When putting the Rhino motors into your gun, they should slide in perfectly. Ensure that the motor shaft is flush with the cage. Most motors have a red dot to indicate which mo way the motors will spin. The motor will spin clockwise to that red dot, so if you want the gun to shoot, make sure that the red dots are on either side. They should look like this. Once finished, test with AA batteries to check your polarity. I'll be posting a picture to help you understand the rewiring process.
So now I'm going to put all the internal back in and then we'll take it out for a firing test. Guys, so here's the finished Nerf demolisher. So yeah, as you can see, I've given it a paint job, I've um, increased the missile launcher and it is now running off a 3S 800 milliamp hour 45 to 50 discharge lipo. Um, so yeah, I got it. So yeah, it's now running off Rhino motors, as you saw, and as you can hear, it's very responsive. If you couldn't hear that, it's pretty loud. So yeah, um, I've also loaded it with 18 rounds. So let's see what this new demolisher can do. My god, that was amazing. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's see where the let's see where the darts landed, because I want to see. Okay, so here's five, ten. Okay, this is actually a pretty good improvement. Um, before my demolisher on IMRs, it used to land at about here. Now it's reaching the fence, which is pretty amazing. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, I hope you enjoyed the video of me overhauling the demolisher. Um, if you if you want to see more of me um, shooting demo the demolisher in future wars, subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with the gun now. So anyways, well, until next time, see you guys later. Bye.